Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's do. Let's do weekend energy. Okay. Let's do weekend energy. Weekend energy. Why wasn't? The, why does this card not want to pick up? Don't worry. The Knight of Cups. Who we? Who we? I got stuff everywhere. I got stuff everywhere. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple cards from this deck, another deck, and then my energy deck. And then, uh, whoa, whoa. If you saw the way that flew, it was like, whoa. So. <sighs> Hold on, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. Um, it's the four pence. Okay, I don't know what you're holding on to. To me, it's representing time, and it, it's basically just saying... What are you doing? Whatever you're holding on to, you're wasting your time. Then I don't know if the number nine is important to some of you guys. Um, you have the inner knowing, but yet some of you are still holding on. Again, we got that eye up there. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it's like precise timing for you. Weekend energy, weekend energy. Hold on. Weekend energy. Weekend energy. So we got the nine of water, which is a nine of cups, and you know it, it's a wish coming true. Um, whatever concerns you're having about your love life right now looks to be going in the right direction. Um, so I don't know if you're holding on to a love, but it's funny because now we got two nines, even though that's a four, because. I told you, there's something about this that's 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., 9 p.m., and you know what's ironic? Um, at the bottom of the deck is the night of Earth, all right, somebody coming in. But to me, for the last two mornings, because my son's been home and I, I don't have to get him on the bus because he had like a little, a little mini surgery, and the other ones are old enough to get themselves on the bus type thing, so I just kind of wake up, make sure, you know, Mia's all set. And then that's it. And Cade's been sleeping. I've been waking up for the last two days, 9 o'clock, every day on the dot. So, the 9, and this first thing I noticed with the 4 of pens is the 9. So, let's see what these two 9s are. Spiritual meaning of 9-9. Nine, nine. According to AstroVera.com, the biblical number nine is the number of judgment. It also means fruit of spirit or the divine completeness from the Father. Right, that's, not nine what I'm is looking the... for. that's not the one I'm looking for. It's just saying it's a pretty powerful number. It's off, off, <clears throat> it is often related to leadership and wisdom. When you're seeing the nine nine, it means you should use your intelligence and your leadership skills to elevate your own life. Use your talents and your gifts to get closer to your life goals. Okay. So, apparently right now, someone's love life is a goal, you know. Um, and, well, so, to me, it, it's love, okay? 
moving towards love is difficult for somebody in this situation. Um, but it's something someone's manifesting. It's, it's something somebody wants. You know, whatever concern you're having, let it go. Release it. It's the past. So some, somewhere, some way, some shape or form, you're seeing nines. Is kind of trying to push you in a certain direction, okay? And I got that nine right there in the middle of the clock. So. Still brings us back to four if I break that down in numerology. Two, four, six, eight, those type of numbers. Even numbers. I think the only odd number you might be seeing. Well, I know we've been seeing, seeing threes and sixes, but I guarantee that shifted. I think you're about to see a lot of even numbers now. Weekend energy, weekend energy. For some, not everyone, okay? Not everyone, of course. But to me, it is saying you need to release. And here's another four on top of, you know, well, it's not on top of this one. But now we got 44. Start using your intuition. It's guiding you, okay? Um, this is pleasure, but it's blended pleasure. So it's pleasure all the way around. I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancerian, because these are both Cancerian cards, but that's irrelevant. Okay. Oh, those popped out. Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Now we got double fives. Okay. Um, so whatever's happening right now in your life, especially this weekend, the energy is being amplified. So I'm telling you, if you're negative, you're gonna have a worse weekend. If you're positive, you're gonna be, you're gonna have a happier weekend. Okay, so that's really important to pay attention to your thoughts right now. Um, but you feel like there's some type of loss of pleasure here, exhausted, dried up. Okay, you're contemplating, you're battling your own brain back and forth. It, it's it's kind of argumentative energy right here. But if you were to release something. Whatever it is they're saying, just release whatever it is you're holding on to and just move forward. You know, a, a wish is going to come true. And I can't even normally be like, because normally I like to say like it's, it's like a celebration card, hanging out with your friends, dating, just having a good time, you know, being happy-go-lucky. But this, this literally is a wish coming true for some. Or for whomever this is for. But the only way that's going to happen is if you break through whatever it is that needs to be broken through. Okay? Because you're battling your own brain. So, release. Release. Don't, don't worry about time. Time is an illusion, guys. Temperance. Okay? This is reconciliations. So, some of you are about to have a reconciliation, because that's exactly what this is. But it looks like somebody's contemplating whether or not to come in and have a reconciliation with somebody. So, this is about a love life. This is, this is exactly what this is. But this needs to be released. Whatever this, this is, you're holding on to, let it go, which I think is just argumentative energy. You're just kind of going back and forth in your own head. But this can work out, okay? If you let go and open up, the concerns that you're having will fade away. Okay, because this this is the Lord of bl blended pleasure. They want to blend it back together because right now you got a loss of pleasure. Why? Because you're battling your own brain. Or somebody is. Okay? This is a reconciliation. So if you don't have a lover in your life, this can just be a strong friendship, a bond. Someone's holding on to like a grudge. 
couple of past thoughts, okay? Let me go to four cups. Some of the four cups. Oh, I really am feeling this card that my finger's on. And I don't think it's that one, but that's where the deck split, okay? So the Emperor, you know, whomever is absorbing the masculine energy. And it can be anyone, guys, because I, I really feel like I'm in masculine energy right now. So it can truly be anyone. It's just the Emperor. But it's going in this direction. It's moving forward. Okay, but the Emperor can be pretty damn stubborn. All right, the Death Card. But I, you know, also going through a transformation. So you got two major arcana on top of that, okay? So, but this is a transformation, okay? So Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But this is so you can have that blended pleasure that they want to give you. So they want to give you this. You have gone through a transformation. Or this other person has and they're telling you. Okay? But to me, this is one solid energy. And what it's saying is believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone if it if need be. Okay? Um, tell me about Five of Cups. And this is a masculine energy, too. It's almost like the divine feminine energy is trying to grant you something. So the Five of Cups is the Ten of Wands and the Sun reversed. But I don't read these reversed. They just came out reversed, though. All right. So this is, you know, the IONs that we've I've talked about in the past. The Anything ION right now, let it go. Depression, obsession, oppression, all sorts of IONs, options, you know, like, nope, let it go right now, okay? You can have that clarity if you let go of these thoughts. Whatever this is that you're carrying, whatever thoughts you're holding on to is, is, is weighing you down. It's upsetting you. Release. Tell me about the five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands. This also talks about stepping into the light. Okay. So don't wait until the 21st to step into the light. Just step into the light. And these keep coming out in doubles. Again, okay. So I'm telling you, this energy is being amplified big time. So we got the hermit and the king of cups. So we got... This King of Cups, because it's, it's coming this way, it's looking right at the Emperor. And we did have the Hermit on top of, I think, that the other day. Um, but this is listening to the to the light, the voice of the light. It, it's like, but you're ignoring it. So the Emperor is ignoring it. See, the sun was reversed, but you're doing it to yourself. Okay? This King of Cups is the chariot of the water. You're going in the wrong direction. You're not listening to the guide look at him look at him looking right over but you're not you're not seeing it or you are but you're not having it so you're gonna remain in this energy until you get out of this energy you have to choose to get out of this energy but you're definitely being pushed you're definitely being guided I mean, they're looking right over. So I don't know if you're just a little apprehensive, a little worried. I'm not. I don't really see anxiety here. I feel like yeah, it's, it's somebody more or less being stubborn. Okay, but listen to that light. Step into the light. All right? It was the only one reversed. Step into it. And I talk about the 21st because that's the the harvest. That's right before the moon. It's the, it's the, the solstice. Okay? And that talks about the divine masculine stepping into the light so you know things can get a lot rougher for you if if you don't and i know people don't like hearing that but it's it's the truth all right because you're going in the wrong direction you're holding on to something that's that's not grounding you it's it's making you miserable but if you want to tell yourself you're not miserable whatever floats your boat because i guarantee at nighttime when you're lying in bed you're contemplating whether or not to be this person, whether or not to move forward, whether or not to let go, let bygones be bygones, whether it has to do with this other person or not. You're not releasing. And the divine, it, they're, they're a little upset. 
to be honest with you. They're, they're trying their best to make you see something differently. And the divine can get upset, and they usually go in a different direction and cause towers. But this one's more like, wake up. But in a very nice way. I mean, they're trying so hard. I feel like there must be some type of, I now feel depression. There must be some type of depression going on, whether it's seasonal or not. Because you're not, you're upset. You're not listening to your inner voice, and you know better. But you can't let go. I don't know what it is you're not letting go of. I'm going to have to clarify that. But let's get to temperance. Because to me, you know, I don't know if you want this reconciliation or it's the divine that wants it. To me, it's the saying, grab it. You know, it's, it's the voice of the light. Step into the light. Like I said, only one reverse was the sun here. Step into it. Step into the light. Okay. Use that. You you know, you know. I don't I don't need to. You know I don't need to even go there again. And I want this top one, which is weird. So it's the Princess of Swords with the Eight of Wands. All right. So and she's looking this way too. So this is the woman that's on your mind. You know she's moving forward. She's on a journey, because the Eight of Wands to me is a journey. She's moving fast, too, swift, because the both of these, this is the rushing winds, and this is a swiftness. So I don't know if you're a little worried that she's, she might be out of your reach. I almost said out of your league, which is weird, so that would be a lack of confidence, but I'm not feeling this, because the divine is guiding you. So there'd be no reason to continue to overthink this situation. I, I think it's, you know, it's time to go in and talk about it, whatever this is. And I don't think it's saying she's waiting on this reconciliation. I, I think it's more, it's a possibility though, because she's looking up at, she's not even looking at temperance. She's looking at this five of wands too. So that tells me you guys might be mirroring each other's energy. So I think everybody needs to have positive thoughts. But more or less, she's looking down, she's looking up. So I don't know if it's the divine telling the divine feminine right now to just hold on. Things are being worked on, okay? Um, but to me, it, it, I don't need to tell you guys to, to hold on. It, you know, if your energy is stinky, switch it. To me, this is focused on the masculine, stepping into the light, okay? Okay. Um, I don't want anybody holding on like that unless there's reason to. Um, and I hope that makes sense to you because I'm not being non-compassionate here. I, you, you know where I'm going with that. To me, this is all about that masculine energy really stepping into the light. And, and they're really in the chariots right here. All right. And that's a gentleman too. You know, but you are already that chariot with that king right here because that's. That's the chariot of the water, too, the king of cups. So what it, it's just saying, you know, I, I really feel like a little bit of depression here. So try to, somebody definitely needs to change their thoughts. Whatever you're holding on to, I'm telling you, time is illusion. And if something about that nine is, is for you, in numerology, okay, I do spiritual, let me just get the solid number for the spiritual nine. Because that is sticking out the most. But I'm telling you, this this weekend, this energy is amplified. So I'm telling you, if you're negative, it's going to be like, ugh, okay? So let's work work on you, okay? Um, have patience on yourself, but it also brings harmony. It's be inspired. Don't worry about perfection. All right? Um... And they're trying to comfort you in numerology. It's all about spiritual comfort. And that's what they're doing right now. They're, they're trying hard to comfort you. They really, truly are. It's like they're not angry. But it's almost like, what? It, how do we do? What do we do next? The divine is strange. Because I feel the divine having a lot of hat for you right now. They're, they're actually... I feel like feeling your sorrow. Which is bizarre because they usually don't 
get involved like that. It's like their emotions are in it. This is how close you are to the, your. This is how close you are to spirituality. This is how close you are to your guides. That their emotions are now in it, and it's that's mind blowing to me. Because now it's it's personal. I I don't I've I've never had a reading like that where I felt that way. It's not usually personal between the divine like that. Not where their emotions are involved. Whomever is guiding you, I don't know if it's a, a lost family member, because that's a possibility that's trying to talk to you. I, all of a sudden, I'm feeling a grandmother, even though it's masculine. I'm telling you, no matter which sex it is, masculine or feminine, somebody is feeling your sorrow. Think about that. They want the best for you. They're trying to lead you to this person. That's that's deep, okay? Um, that's extremely deep. And I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad or guilty. That's just what's happening on my board. That... Um, I just want to look... Um, one more thing. The angel number. One such number you might encounter with, okay, or you're just going to notice, is if, if you don't realize that the angels are trying to contact you, in your mind you think that it's just a coincidence, but you're not giving them any notice. See what I'm saying? So it's personal. It, that's so crazy to me. You know example you look at your watch or your clock watch and it shows 9 a.m. or p.m. or maybe every single time you go shop and you buy something it's a nine it's it's not a coincidence okay it's it's so wow to me because it must be a family member and if it's not you got a super close relationship to to spirituality I, I mean so close that they got involved. I don't I don't think that's allowed like that because then it it can affect affect things, but I I think whoever this is is so close to you that for real like I'm blown away. I, I'm I'm blown away. I'm at loss for words from whoever this person is. Um Can you tell me about this hermit, please? Who is this hermit? Wow. I don't know if you saw the way that flipped and it's, it's double. Three air at the bottom of the deck. Okay. It's the four earth. So this is going to explain this four earth too. Let's do that first. It says you're being too frivolous or too cautious, especially when it comes to your money. Good business decisions. Okay. Giving those to less fortunate. So... If you got a lot of money right now, give it to charitable things, okay? But, like, you just, I think you're holding on to the money factor. If you don't have enough money, it, it's something to, and I noticed that last night, okay? And look at it, it's just kind of sitting there, too. Like, what's what's going on? What They're trying. Like, what's going on, okay? I don't know if you have a pendant or something from a lost one. Um, but then you have an awakening. That's what they're trying to do. They, they want you to look at it in a different perspective. It's, it's, it's a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So stop trying to be somebody else. Stop trying to, how do I come in? How do I do this? How, how do I need to act? How do I, you know, stop. That's not five of wands. Stop. Let go of that thought that you need to be somebody else. Just be you. You're beautiful just the way you are. And I know it's cliche, but it's the truth. You are amazing just the way you are. You truly, truly are. You truly, truly are. Okay. 
you're just you're going through an awakening look at it differently like I said if you're having negative thoughts that's what you're gonna give out I mean the fact that you got somebody that's that's got you like that is is beautiful I mean guides all that stuff they got you all the time like that anyway okay but that's that's another four now you got four fours that talks about using your intuition it's telling you you're on the right path there's a lot you know you really truly act I told you see these doubles are gonna start coming out for you now more than the odds okay um or you've just been in the whole the the evens versus the odds for a while i just want to know about this four but to me what it's kind of telling me is that if you didn't watch the last reading i did last night about you're poisoning your own thoughts is what you're doing you can possibly make yourself sick okay go watch that reading because that has to do with that. I, I think it's a money thing. Tell me about this four. But I'm not positive. But for some. Okay. But you got something gorgeous right in front of you. So if you're more focused on materialistic stuff right now. Your lesson is love. It is. And then the material will follow. Okay. Um, look at that eye at the bottom of this deck. That's the Ten of Cups. It's go after it. All right. We had that in one of the reads too. Go after it. They're, they're trying to get you there. Your angels, everything. Look at that eye. I think you're looking at that eye. They're trying. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands here. So I don't know if it's just, if it's just fear. All right. You you hold what you're holding on to is fear. You can have your Ten of Cups. Release. Move forward. You have the inner knowing here. You got that third eye. You know. Right here. It's the third eye. Right here. It's the third eye. Here we go with these eyes again. Okay. You got this. You truly, truly got this. It's the Ten of Cups. That's what you can have. You can have that beauty. Let go of the fear. This fear is holding you back. Let go of the illusion of time, too. If you're like, oh, I've waited too long, let go of that. It's an illusion. Time does not exist. It's illusionary. This is, you can have this brand new start. Brand new spanking new start with the Ten of Cups. Let go of the fear. Let it go. Go after this because this is you go from the nine to the ten. What they're giving you is breathtaking. Bre just it's so breathtaking. And I think you feel it, you know. Um and they're feeling it. That's they want the best for you. I there's so much love with this one person. They are making sure that you are golden for life. For life. I felt thug right there. For life. <laughs> but, you know, let these concerns fade away. Go towards whatever this is. Let go of the material aspects of things right now. Let it go. Um, I feel like I've been being told that too, to be honest with you. And I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Maybe it just didn't hit me yet. I'm not sure because I'm not, I'm not feeling that the financial struggle. Like, so I don't, I don't know if it just hasn't hit me yet, but there's no reason because I, I'm, I'm not in that struggle. So, but it, it's, I've been feeling it too. So I don't know if it's just, it's just the energy and that's it. You know, and they're trying to make me feel that so I can break it down to you. I'm not quite sure, but obviously it will come to me or it is coming to me as we talk about it. But clearly you've had the awakening. You have the inner knowing. You're being a bit stubborn for sure. For sure, Z's. Okay. I don't know if you just, you work so hard for your damn money. You feel like you're going to step into a situation where you got to kind of give money out, but that's the right thing to do if that's the case, because it's only going to come back at you tenfold. You don't got to worry about it. Whatever this is, is they got you. They got you, booze. They got you. 
Let's see the scribe. I told you it's already it should, it's in your blueprint. I, I, if whoa, okay. Right underneath that, the two of cups. They got you. They're about to bless you. And again, it's it's blended. So it's more than just love. It's more than just money. It's it's a lot. It's a pretty important reading. Okay. Positive thoughts, please. Positivity is is most definitely key. I'm gonna this is my new deck that I haven't even used yet. I'm gonna throw you one overall card. Okay, and uh, we will use this deck later. But let's get an overall message with my new deck. It's pretty exciting. One overall message for weekend energy, please. Weekend energy. There it is. There it is. It's the chariot. I feel like you, you, the two of you are different. You're meant to be. It's the black horse. It's the white horse. But uh, you guys have had a different life. And what's going on is that you guys reach this point each time. And you haven't been able to make it work. And this time... They're like that. It's not an option. It, it's you. It's like you're not seeing the beauty that's about to be presented to you. And if it's the two of you being negative, you're mirroring each other right now. Cause I saw that possibility. Okay, but this move forward. It's the chariot. The bottom of the deck. There's that king of cups, which is right there on that chariot which is the prince of chariots okay stop you're blocking look at you're blocking your own future you're blocking your own possibilities which is the king of cups go be this person and right underneath that is the ace of swords go communicate with this person you're doing it to yourself okay and look at to me I mean, I haven't looked through this. That looks like Santa Claus a little bit. Christmas miracles. Okay. But it's all about your communication right now. And the star is right underneath. Go for it. Creativity. Change your perspective right now. All right. There's the Wheel of Fortune. They got you. You're blocking yourself from moving forward. With whomever, whomever this person is is apparently quite the match quite the love of your life and if you don't see it yet you will I know somebody here is, is honestly trying to understand their situation but I, I feel like you're gonna get that clarity when you go talk to this person that you need that you know you need to talk to and I've been saying that for a while and that's not gonna change until it happens I love you. You know, have have a good weekend. Be positive. Awesome sauce thoughts, okay? Bye guys.